Hey, how is it going today? It's 7th of September, Saturday, and we are taking a look at the market, what kind of opportunities we can find. In today's video, let's take a look at energy, and uh, uh, we're going to be progressing perhaps to other projects since we've been spending a lot of time on energy. We can, in following videos, we can take a look at infrastructure, uh, all those kind of projects, right? Uh, but today I thought it might be important uh, to reflect uh, we're still taking a look at the heating season. But either way, that's going to be Britain's last coal power station to be closed in three weeks. Britain's last coal fire power station will be closing on 31st of September. So, end of this month, right? Ending a uh, major chapter in UK's entry history. I don't know when it comes to uh, CO2. There's a lot of governments who keeping combination of different sources, right? UK decided to close it. That's a case decision, right? So uh, let's take a look at this article and see what kind of information we can find. This article was published recently, so I thought it might be important to take a look at it. The last remaining coal fire power station in the UK. Uh, there's a location there is set to be closed on 30th of September after receiving its final coal delivery in late June. The closure marks the end of coal fire power generation in Britain, a sector that once provided more than a third of the country's electricity. Okay, okay, I thought it was way higher. I thought it would be about 80% of entire energy, in particular, perhaps, depending on the period and the steam engines. Well, I believe it was way higher, it was about 80%, but either way. <laughs> uh, for those who are following history, uh, plans are underway to transform the site into zero carbon technology and energy hub. The company managing the site announced last year that it intends to produce low carbon hydrogen there with the goal of receiving uh, 500 megawatts in electrolysis capacity by the end of the decade. Coal use in the UK significantly decreased in recent years, dropped from over 95% of electricity generation at the start of the 20th century to just 1% by 2023. The government target and coal generation by 2024 is aligned with the power station's closure. The Eskliff power station, which began operating in 1967, has been capable to generate enough electricity to power more than 2 million homes. Massive amount, right? Uh, over its uh, 57 years, it produced enough energy to make over 21 trillion cups of tea. Okay, okay. Since uh, there's, uh, they actually were taking a look at a different metric, they, I think they were measuring uh, how much energy would be required to boil water. I think that's where they actually been taking a look at. But they um, decided to do a little twist uh, while taking a look at tea, right? Let's take a look at the next, next article. That would be Shell, a uh, company cutting jobs on oil and gas exploration and development team. Since that was published recently, uh, that would be important. I haven't realized that Shell is British multinational oil and gas company. I always thought that would be a different ownership, but uh, at least that's the information that I can find. And that would be Shell.com, right? Not necessarily .co.uk. So perhaps it's actually the, based in the UK, I guess. Well, I don't know the, why prices are so high. <laughs> so that's why I don't understand, right? Shell plans to cut hundreds of jobs on its oil and gas exploration and development team, including significant percentage of workers and different governments, including US, according to Reuters report, right? Reuters are uh, UK-based. Uh, media uh, <laughs> company. This last will be latest in a series of workforce reduction by the new CEO, who joined 2003 announcing Shell's plans to reduce capital spending and all operating costs while increasing financial stability. A uh, new strategy includes a pivot back towards oil and gas and promote the sustainability in uh, regional holders payout mm, I don't know I don't know so overall uh, more interest so perhaps if the direction would change we were taking a look at oil, uh, coil 
uh, now we take a look at gas and oil, right? So what perhaps the direction slide is changing, well, I don't know, I don't know. Uh, let's take a look at next project, that would be important, I believe. That would be alternative to windmills, right? Uh, I haven't read it, I haven't just seen it, so I thought it might be important and that's something that's coming from Europe that there would be good those motionless turbines solve wind energy and noise and wildlife problems, right? So potentially uh, wind energy could be generated without need of moving parts. Yeah, that's kind of interesting. So let's take a look at potentially a uh, reduction in different energy sources. Perhaps there are some alternatives to uh, energy sector, right? Technology is described as breakthrough, scalable, renewable. And I, again, I'm not promoting this project, right? And, um, I'm just looking to understand it, right? So whoever built it, let's try to understand. Perhaps there is a great engineering team. I don't know how good it is. Perhaps they should be looking to share some of the numbers. But it might be a new way of doing it. That would be a solution that could be coming to other European roofs soon. UK is first. Oh, okay, so it's in the UK. Motionless wind energy system that's been developed in roof in Oxford. Oh, okay, okay, so it's in the UK. I thought it's in Europe, uh, so it's been published. <laughs> Either way, so it might be UK. Then we think of wind energy, wind turbines, natural springs, uh, demand, elegant blades, spinning to drive electricity generator. Uh, there's other projects, right, when it comes to Navy and movement of container ships. So there's a lot of uh, sim very similar, not the same, but a similar project. Uh, then uh, they take a look at less moving parts, which be very important for many uh, less moving parts, less problems. <laughs> but that the renewable energy revolution search forward more of the technologies have been developed to fit various niches to help win the world of fossil fuels faster. Motionless wind energy designs like this one from a US company. Oh, okay, so this is a different company. Let's keep all of those names. Right? The prototype is being trialed on the roof of German car maker. Oh, okay, okay. Manufacture plant in Oxford before being installed elsewhere in the UK and Europe, right? Oh, okay, so it's kind of interesting, I guess. And uh, Germany is currently suffering from energy I, I would say it's, that it's a crisis of prices, right? Energy prices with the UK has a very similar problem when it comes to prices, right? So similar solutions would be very, very important, right? Let's close on that. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.